Hey Taurus, what's going on? Long time no speak. I hope you're doing very well. Uh, my name's Diane and this is Madame Butterfly Tarot for those of you that don't know me. Um, this is going to be a general reading for November. But you know it is a timeless reading so whenever you happen to find this, you know, it's when you were meant to see it. And you know, Taurus, I do apologize for my super long <laughs> extended absence. I just uh, I had stuff that I needed to do. And uh, yeah, thank you for your patience. I appreciate it because I know it has been like a long time. <laughs> um, and also at the moment, I am taking personal readings. So if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link is in the description box. I was going to say downstairs, <laughs> underneath uh, the video. So I want to start off with a card from this deck. This is the Mystic Martians Oracle deck. What's going on for Taurus? You have the Venusians, Romance, Soulmates, Empathy. Do you see? <laughs> and the camera's at 111, just as I'm saying that. So. These are not going to be love readings anymore because I'm not going to lie, Taurus, I got a little bit bored of just doing love readings all the time, okay? I mean, obviously if love comes out, I'm not going to be like, no, we're not reading that. But um, the thing is, this can be more about, like, this can be anyone, you know? Like, if you're already, you know, in a relationship and stuff, whatever, like, this is uh, a soulmate coming in, okay? There's... There's a soulmate or like a soul tribe coming in for you because you're very empathetic. So this person is going to um, have the same level of empathy that you do. So they're going to be very soft in that way like you. They're going to understand you. This person's going to feel like home, okay? So like I said, that can be romance. It can be like a new friend that you're going to make. It could be like re reuniting with a family member or like even a work colleague or something like that. Um, let me get one more. What else for Taurus? Oh, <laughs> okay, so it looks like for some of you this might actually be love. Okay, you take it as it resonates and I can only show you like the top part of the card <laughs> here. So it's kind of a pornographic card. So this is the Nagas, okay. Uh, Lovers, erotica, sensuality. So I'm gonna put it down there so you can't really see what's going on in the card, okay? Um, so it looks like for a lot of you, this will be like a love situation, okay? But like I said, you know, if that doesn't resonate, you just take it as like a soulmate coming in. And you have a Ouroboros, infinity, eternal, past life. So this is someone that you've had, I wanna say many, many, many past lives with, okay? Um, they're going to feel like home to you, Taurus. This person's going to feel like home. You can see it's like she's in a little womb there. The person's going to make you feel really safe, okay? So what, uh, what's going on for Taurus? Whoa, okay. <laughs> so you have the Knight of Swords. It's funny that that's a, that's a fast card and it came out very fast. Okay, so you have the Devil. I don't know which one that was. I feel like there's a choice, okay? Actually, because you have the Seven of Cups and the Lovers here. So there's something here to do with a choice. So maybe you have multiple options or you're not sure. Um, this person, be they friend or lover or whatever, they might feel like a little too good to be true or something like that because you've dealt with people in the past, you know, with the Seven of Cups, you know, people that lied or they weren't what they seemed to be before. So now you're kind of doubtful and you have the devil here and the, the Ace of Swords wanted to come out as well. So I feel like with this person, there's a little bit of devil energy on your end, not on their end, on your end, because I feel you may uh, hold yourself back here with this person. Because of past stuff, 
like uh, dealing with people from the past that kind of, you know, um, screwed you. Clarify the Knight of Swords, please. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Wow. Okay. That's really explicit. <laughs> so the Knight of Swords with the Four of Wands, I kind of feel it's like, um, you know, the Four of Wands is some kind of stability coming in, right? Like for those of you that this is like, you know, a love reading, uh, this is like commitment, you know, with the Knight of Swords, like you guys might move in together very fast or you might find yourself in a commitment with this person very quickly. Um, I also feel there's like a desire here on your end to want to rush in fast, but you're like, no, uh-uh, mm -mm, I'm not doing that because of this past, you know, because of everything you've been through in the past. Um, in a friendship type of situation, because I do feel it's a person, okay? Or like your soul tribe. Basically, you're going to feel very at home with this person very quickly. There's going to be, uh, and that resonates for like romance too, there's going to be almost like an instant recognition. Like, these are my people, this is my person, this is my, my best butt, you know, I recognize you. Uh, clarify the lovers. Mm, okay, so you have the page of cups here. Very, very youthful, playful energy here. Because the lovers is Gemini energy. There's also something, um, they're, they're very giving. Like this person that you're meeting, they're very giving. It's very, very equal give and take. Like this person, you know, they're naked in this card. There's, no, there's nothing to hide. Um, you've obviously dealt with people in the past that did lie and did have a lot to hide. This, this person's not like that. Um, the Page of Cups is like very playful, very sweet, very youthful, like very fun to be around. Honestly, it's someone that really wears their heart on their sleeve. Like what you see is what you get with this person. But you know, even if it's a friend, you know, because you've dealt with so many shitty people in the past, you might just be like, oh, I don't trust this. <laughs> like, what's the catch? What are they going to do? Um, if this is love, this is someone new for sure. This is not someone that's like, you know, you know, they're showing up as a new version of themselves. This is someone brand new, squeaky clean, brand new. Um, they could have Gemini and Pisces in their chart. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. There's something to do with a choice here. You have the Seven of Cups with the Two of Pentacles, okay? Um, it's like you're sort of dithering about whether to go for it with this person because you're just like, oh man, I feel like they, f they seem a little too good to be true because this person has it going on. Like they have their own money. I feel they're quite prosperous. The, you, I saw the Empress, so it's really like this person feels like home, you know? Um, clarify the devil. Yeah, it's, it's like the unknown. Because I saw the uh, High Priestess, you have this like fear of the unknown, you know. There is a message here, like with the Strength card that I just saw and the Devil, like Spirit is wanting you to sort of try and tame this Devil energy that's coming up. You know, like, oh my God, like I don't trust this person, like this is new, I don't like new, I don't want to deal with new stuff, like... I don't want to get hurt again, whether that's friends or whatever, okay? And you have the devil with the king of swords. Um, there could also be something here about protecting your money because you have the ten of pentacles behind the king of swords, which I'm going to leave that there because I feel like it wants to be there. Uh, so for some of you watching this, you may have, because I know you're Taurus, <laughs> so you may have accrued quite a bit of money. Um, you know, maybe you own like a, a nice big house or you've saved up a lot of money or you're good at making money or you have a good job that you know pays you a lot of money and I feel that you're like a little protective over it and you know I totally understand why okay particularly you know if you've dealt with a lot of people that have lied and stuff like this in the past but they, what they actually want you to know is this person that's coming in 
they have their own money. Like they're a very, very hard worker. Um, they don't need or want your money, okay? Uh, they're very abundant within themselves. I feel this person, you might be dealing with an Aries, okay? Because um, this is what came out for Aries, the exact same cards. They're gonna feel like a best friend, honestly. This person's gonna, f they're, they're either gonna be a best friend or it's gonna be like a, a romantic partner that feels like a best friend. Some of you are gonna go into business with this person as well, which is a bit random. Um, but you guys might partner up and do a project or something like that together. But I feel with the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, they could very well own their own business. They may work from home, they could be a working mother. Um, they could set their own hours, but there's something that they're very, very good at with the Eight of Pentacles. They have particular a particular skill that they're very good at. They spend a lot of time crafting it and they've spent a lot of time on their business or like their job that they're very good at. And I feel they're well known for it actually. Whatever it is they do in their field, they're well known for being very good at it because they're kind of a perfectionist. They could have some Virgo in their chart or just lean towards perfectionism, this person, okay? <laughs> um, but certainly this person is not after your money. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords, please. Thank you. The Eight of Swords. Okay, so there's, um, you know, You've been holding yourself back, I think. Uh, keeping yourself a little stuck here, worrying that this person's gonna screw you. <laughs> um, but this is, I feel, you're, you're gonna be moving past that, okay, Taurus? There's gonna be like a, a change in mindset here. And there, there may be, whoa, what? Or you're worried that they're gonna steal from you. Some of, some of you are worried. You have thief and you have false person, okay? So this may be what you've dealt with in the past. Um, people that literally stole your money or they stole your house or, you know, it was like you were dealing with a liar in the past that was like taking from your bank account or something even for some of you or like almost like taking out of your pocket. Because you might have money is the thing, okay? Um, and I feel you've worked very hard to get it, <laughs> okay? But there's something here yeah, I feel like maybe you have money, okay? Which sometimes you may feel like if that resonates for you, you may feel like it's almost like a bit of a, it keeps you stuck in some ways because you have to like protect it. And you know, because someone like, you know, lied to you in the past really, or they betrayed you. I feel like someone betrayed you. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I, yeah, there's something, there's gonna be a breakthrough here and there's something about this will move very fast once all this uh, stuff gets out of the way here. So, you know, you take this as it resonates for you, but like if it's a friendship, you're gonna sort of get past this and like you're gonna start feeling at home with this person very quickly. Maybe you guys will move in together like as flatmates or something even. Um, if this is love, I feel you're going to find yourself in a commitment with this person quite fast. Like you guys might move in together quite fast or you might just like, you know, it might be, there may be like an understanding that you guys are just together now quite quickly. You know what I mean? I'm going to pull a couple of cards from this deck here. You know, they might live a little further away for some of you. You have distant horizons and you have community. So... You know, the Distant Horizons card, this is obviously like crossing water. So for some of you guys, like this person might live uh, a little further away. They might live across an ocean or across a body of water. You may have to travel to see this person. Like maybe you're gonna meet them online then, okay? And I don't mean like a weird dating app or something. Or if that floats your boat, you know, go for it. But um, I know a lot of people don't like that. But you might meet them online. And that might be, you know, 
how you meet this person that's far away and you have the main male and the main female okay so it's just like the perfect couple or you're like your bestie like you're gonna there's a lot of you're like soulmates there's a lot of empathy here that, that's going on like this person gets you and it's because you've had many incarnations together um and for those of you looking for like you know romantic love there's a lot of um like you know physical passion here as well Is there anything else you want to tell Taurus about this person? No? Okay, we'll leave that there Taurus because they're saying no. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it a lot. If you want to book a personal reading with me, the link is in the description box. And don't forget to check out my new channel as well if you want to check that out. The link is below. And thanks for watching Taurus. Many blessings. Love and light. Take care.